Every place we can go, but we haven't gone there yet. We can go 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 there yet. 20% of our potential. Maybe 30%. But everything Japan needs lies within you. In every single one of you, there's still lots of potential. I bet you haven't even tapped it yet. Sometimes we're afraid of failing. So we don't use it. Sometimes we're, we're afraid that we won't succeed. So we don't use it. But it's still there. Do you remember the parable of the talents? The one who had five talents 
did everything he could. He even risked losing it all. He risked failing. But he did it anyway. And God said, Bravo. But remember the one with one talent. He was afraid to fail. So he didn't use it. He was afraid he might be defeated. So he didn't use it. And the Lord reprimanded him. What he was saying was this. You cannot please God by playing it safe. You must keep your spirit strong. Japan isn't an easy place. <laughs> But don't you let your heart get hard. We must continue to stay strong. You may face many defeats. But you must never be defeated. It's a matter of the heart. Success is this. It's going from failure to failure without a loss of enthusiasm. <laughs> You just gotta keep going. It doesn't matter how high you blow up. What matters most is what direction your feet are when you hit ground again. In these last eight years have been the toughest years for me. I just came through a, an atheist suing me for $3.6 million. <laughs> And took us over a year to fight this. And we were proved innocent. But it was very tiring. I've been sued four other times. <laughs> Not my fault. <laughs> And I've had four death threats. And this last one was so bad that the police suggested that I wear a bulletproof vest when I preach. <laughs> And so I said, if Jesus wants me home, I'm going home. And the police said, no, they're making them very thin now. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, no, no yes. And we keep going. You must not give up.
one translation. <laughs> so I want to talk to you about the Ten Commandments of a leader. You're going to face many obstacles. But you think you still need to preach. Lead others to Christ. But there's a confliction, there's a confusion because you're struggling yourself. You think I gotta lead others. Here's the first commandment. Learn to lead yourself. Can you lead yourself to Christ? Because you're gonna stray. Can you lead yourself back to Christ? You're going to be discouraged. Can you counsel yourself? Because we can counsel others. But the, the most obvious obvious evidence that you're ready to lead others is by your ability to lead yourself. We can discipline others. But can I discipline myself? You see, when you're younger, Everybody wants the privilege of disciplining you. <laughs> But when you grow older, nobody's going to discipline you. And more, the more God uses you. Nobody wants to discipline you. Who's going to discipline Tao? God has given him much influence. And less and less people want to discipline him. Does that mean we don't need discipline? We probably need more discipline. So who's going to do it? You have to discipline yourself. First Timothy 4:7. Discipline yourself for the purpose of godliness. The word discipline yourself is from the Greek, it's gumnadze seautan. And the word gumnadze is the English word gymnasium. So, gumnadze is the English word gymnasium. So, what the Bible is saying is, you have to get yourself back in the gym. I'm hurting myself. God says, get back in the gym. I'm pulling a muscle. Ministry is making me fatigued. Get back in the gym. And you have to be able to lead yourself. Hold yourself accountable. 
自分を本当に、えー、この、うん、責任、えー、報告の、えー、しなきゃならない立場に置くことです Tell yourself to repent. 自分に命じて悔い改めなさい Tell yourself to get humble. やりくななさいと自分に言いなさい Nobody's gonna tell you that. 他に誰も言,言ってくれないんです so you better do it yourself. ですから自分でそれをしなきゃなりません to repent. 悔い改めること Just because you're a leader doesn't mean you don't sin. リーダーだからといって罪を犯すことはないということはないんです。Before you were a Christian, you sinned. クリスチャンになる前に皆さんは罪を犯していたでしょう。After you're a Christian, you sinned. クリスチャンになってもまた罪を犯し続きます。But before you're a Christian, you sin and you hide it poorly. しかしながらクリスチャンになる前に罪を犯した場合ですね。隠そうとするんですけれども、それがバレるんですね。But after you become a Christian, しかし、クリスチャンになってから、you sin, 罪を犯した場合、but you hide it very well. <笑>今度は上手に隠すことができるようになるのです。<笑> That's the only difference. <笑>それが大きな私たちの違いであります。So you must tell yourself to repent. ですから、私たちは自分自身に言い聞かせなくなりません。Let me tell you one of the devil's most effective weapons. えー、悪魔の最も効果的な武器の一つについて話しましょう。The devil knows the Bible better than you do. 実は悪魔は我々以上に聖書をよく知っています。Remember in Luke chapter 4? 部下の4章を覚えてますか ?When Jesus was being tempted by the devil? 悪魔にイエス様が誘惑をされていただけですね。He said, don't throw yourself off this, this cliff. この崖から飛び降りてごらんなさい。And then he, off the top of his head, quotes the scriptures. そして、えー、悪魔はですね、見言葉を引用するんです。He said, Isn't it written that he will get, give his angels charge over thee, lest you cast your foot against a stone? あなたの足が意思に当たることがないように、見つかりどもに神様は命令して守らせると書いてありませんか He quoted out of the book of Psalms. He memorized the Bible. <laughs> By the way, I want you to remember there is not one devil in the universe that's an atheist. <laughs> They all believe God is real. They don't follow Him. But they know that God is real. But let me tell you His most effective weapon. Now, when you sin, the Bible says, The wages of sin is death. So there's consequences. So watch this. When a Christian leader sins, all the devils from hell says, bring him death. Bring consequences. But here's what Lucifer does. No. Delay the consequences. And his devil say, wait a minute. The Bible says that the wages of sin is death. But Lucifer says, I know. でルシファーは分かってるっていう。しかしたらすぐではなく、Let him go. もう今は手放しておきます。彼が罪を犯した。Just let him go. いやいやいや、放っておきましょう。Why? どうしてでしょう If you sin, 私たちは罪を犯すと。And you don't do anything about it. そしてそれについて何もしない場合。No、consequences. つまり結果がない場合。What is your tendency? 私たちの傾向は何でしょうか stop sinning? その罪をすぐやめることですか no, it's the case. その罪を続けることです。No、だからば結果がないからです。And so you do it again. だからまたやるんです。No、consequences. また結果がない。You do it again. またやるんです。You lie. 
you or start, you do something wrong. With no consequences. You start doing it again. And again. And again. Until you have come to the edge of the cliff. And the devil says, you can do it again. You can jump and everything will be fine. God will forgive you. And when you do it one more time, then he lets all of hell come on you. You lose your ministry. Your relationships. He takes your family. He takes your marriage. He might even take your life. The devil is a liar. You must lead yourself to repent. Especially if you're a leader. Because no one is going to hold you accountable. You do something wrong. Who's going to say anything? You do it again. May have to do with money. May have to do with something you say. Maybe immorality in your mind. No one's going to say anything. So you do it again. Write down this scripture. Ecclesiastes 8-11. Ecclesiastes 8.11 says this because the deed because the, the, the consequences rather the sentence against an evil deed is not executed quickly therefore the hearts of the sons of men are given fully to evil See, because there's, there's no consequence, the heart goes fully to evil. And the devil knows that. So he withholds consequences. And you continue for a year. Maybe two. Then all of a sudden, he takes everything you got. So listen carefully. If you're doing something wrong, and you know it in the deep heart of your heart. But if you're sinning, and there are no consequences, fall on your knees, repent as fast as you can, because somebody is setting you up. You must lead yourself. And number two, one of the most important places to lead yourself is lead yourself back to the Word of God. I want to challenge you. Spend the rest of your life in the mastering of one book. There's a famine in the church. Amos 8.11 
I tell our New Hope churches, if we're known for anything, it has to be that we are people committed to the Word of God. We might have nice lights, but that doesn't change people's hearts. Might have great music. Might have great drama. And beautiful flowers. But it's the word of God that will change people. The word of God will never change. Second Timothy 3.16 All scripture is inspired. Inspired means God breathed. Second Peter 1.20 All prophecy of scripture is God breathed. It's not of someone's own interpretation. What does inspired mean? It means God breathed. In other words, the wisdom that God gave to Solomon he will give to you same wisdom how many of you would like the same wisdom as Solomon <laughs> we need it because these are the last days this is the last chapter we don't know where in the last chapter we are, but we're in the last chapter. I tell people it's like running anchor in a relay. When I was in high school, the coach said to me, we want you to run anchor. My heart started pounding. I said, why? He said, you run anchor. You see, if you're asked to run anchor, you're supposed to be the fastest. <laughs> and if your team is behind, you're supposed to catch up. <laughs> I don't know why. Now look around. God asked you to run anchor. Your heart should be beating. There's a reason. There's a reason God asked us to run anchor. Why? Because there's potential in this world. Don't you take that potential to the grave. Don't you die with that potential still inside of you. I tell people the richest spot on the face of the earth is a graveyard. Under those marble monuments is tons of potential. Maybe songs that were never sung. 
Books that could have been written but were never written. Ideas, ideas that could have changed this community laying under that piece of side. Those ideas are still in you. You're going to take all that to the grave? Don't you dare. The potential in this room is absolutely amazing. And God put it in you to run anchor. And so you need wisdom. The wisdom of Solomon. Because you don't have it. You gather wisdom along the way. And you'll give it to you. If you will read the book of Ecclesiastes, and you have an open heart. This is what God will do. As you read it, the same wisdom he gave to Solomon, he will breathe it into you. The leadership of David do you need greater leadership skills? Don't run the corporations. The business world. Run to the word. And when you read songs, he will breathe the leadership of David into you. ダビデのリーダーシップの才能を持つ時に吹き込んでください。ディニーでインサイトアバサミュエルが持っていたその洞察力の強さでしょ。As Lead yourself back to the Word. Lead yourself back to God's mentors. It's filled with divine mentors. Every problem you're going to face was already faced by somebody in the Bible. Every hurt you're going to experience was experienced by somebody in the Bible already. And they want to teach you how to navigate that. But if you never visit them, if you never talk with them, how will you ever know? My best friends are in the Bible. And so are yours. Did you know that? Your best friends are in the Bible. How often I've walked with Moses and talked to him about complaining churches. <laughs> 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 David about weird brothers. <laughs> I've talked with Samson. 
また、サンソンとも私は相談しました。About how we could be so stupid with women. <笑>どうして異性に対してあんなバカなことができたのかということを彼と相談したことがあります。Jeremiah saved my ministry. 実はエレミアが私のミニストリーを救ってくれたんです。ヨセフは私の結婚を救ってくださった。I'll tell you how. どのようにしてごめんなさい。助けてください。聖<笑>霊<笑>様は明日私たちに何が起こるか知っておられると思いますか What about next month? Do you think the Holy Spirit knows what will happen next month? And here's the problem. He knows, but you don't. <laughs> so, how will He prepare you? Remember this. You're either going to prepare or you're going to repair in your life. <laughs> And the Bible wants to help you to prepare. Because for a mother, he knows what fight you're about to face with your daughter next week. 来週ですね、娘とどのような喧嘩になるかということを、聖霊は知っておられます。Father with your son. また、父親と息子の問題も。With your spouse. また、夫婦の問題も。So、he's gonna prepare you with wisdom. ですから、聖霊はそのために知恵を与えて私たちを準備してください。Have you ever been reading the Bible and a scripture just pops out at you? 聖書を読んでいるときですね。突然見言葉が飛び出るそういう経験ありますか I call that the Holy Ghost Highlighter <笑>私は聖霊のハイライトと呼んでるんですけど<笑> Because the Holy Spirit knows what you need what you're gonna need next week <笑>というのは聖霊は来週私たちに何が必要か知っておられます And as you're reading about Solomon or David そしてそのもあるいはダビデについて呼んでる時 Now remember 覚えてください Every problem You're going to face somebody already faced it. As you're reading, God downloads the wisdom you're going to need next week. But if you don't read the Bible, How will you gain the wisdom? You're going to make dumb mistakes. But God needs you to run anchor. So he's going to give you wisdom. He knows what you're about to face. But if we don't, Give them audience. しかし、神様に耳を傾けてないなら、You'll not have the wisdom. もうその知恵を得ることができません。You can be a pastor. えー、あるいは牧師であるかもしれません。And you can starve even though you're reading the Bible because you're reading it just for sermons. そして、牧師であるならばですね、説教作りのための聖書、朗読はしている。えー、ですから、霊的に、Somebody else might need this. Ah, my board members and elders. <laughs> my wife needs this. <laughs> and you're giving out every Sunday. But instead, you should be doing this. Not to make this. You always eat first. Lead yourself. Some people say, What's God's will for my life? 
ある人言うんです。私に対して神様の御心は何でしょう If you don't know, もし知らないなら、ヒントを一つ与えましょう。ヒントを一つ与えましょう。ヒントを一つ与えましょう。ヒントを一つ与えましょう。Be the best you can be. Work on yourself harder than on your job. Because when you're getting better, everybody around you will become automatic beneficiaries. Of your improvement. You'll have a better attitude. Better way of thinking. You're willing to be humble and apologize. You're wiser. And so God is giving this to you to feed you. ですから神様は私たちを養うためにこ言葉を使って、その結果、私たちのメリットにも、結婚も良くなる、全てが、しかしながらそれは自分を指導するところから入る、自分をしつけること、見言葉に戻ること。ですから、まず自分自身を養いましょう。And some time ago, I was reading about Joseph. <laughs> about Potiphar's wife. And I journaled on that in my journal. Well, about three, four months later, I was in Denver, Colorado. I was speaking at a conference. And our conference ended on Thursday. そして、えー、大会を木曜日に終わりました。Everything falling apart. <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑>もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、I don't like the big ones. So. But this one, I said, I'm going to go find a little boutique, boutique hotel. So I drove into Denver. And there was this Uramichi as his back room. And I saw this boutique hotel. So I said, I'm going to go find a little boutique hotel. I'm so excited. Yeah. So I went inside <laughs> and I said, Do you have a room? And the lady said, Yes, we do. I said, I'll take one. Yeah. So I went to the room. Beautiful room. I said, Do you have a, a restaurant? Beautiful restaurant. She so said, Well, I'd like to have a dinner by myself. So I went downstairs and I was eating dinner. But what I didn't know was this little hotel that was tucked way behind. It was the center of the ladies of the night. <laughs> That was where they met their clients. I didn't know that. So I was sitting there eating. And this beautiful lady came out. And she said, How is the dinner? I said, Very good. She said, How's your room? I said, Very nice. And I was thinking, These hotel people are so nice. 
like a concierge lady. I thought it was a concierge lady. もうコンシェルジュの女性かなと思ってたんですね。And she said, Do you have everything you need? はい、必要なものはすべて備えられてます。I said, Yes. <laughs> she said, May I sit down? 私は隣に座っていいですか I thought these people are so nice. <laughs> <laughs> She said, Would you like some company? <laughs> I didn't understand. <laughs> I said, I don't think so. <laughs> She said, You're all alone? <laughs> I said, Yes. <laughs> He wants you to prepare so you won't have to repair. But nobody's going to force you to read the Bible. You have to read yourself. Read yourself back to the Bible. Amen. 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 Amen.
It's just like musicians. It doesn't matter if you're going to play blues or jazz or classical. Blues, jazz, classical, All great musicians will play scales. Every day, minus scales. Scales. Major scales. Major scales. <laughs> Minor scale? Minor scale. Aeolian? Aeolian? Lockerian? Lockerian? Many scales. But it's when they play just scales. Oh, scale. Why? Are they going to have a concert of scales? Scales? <laughs> But if you don't do scales, and you put a uh, music of Chopin in front of you, if you haven't been playing scales, you look at that music, and you'll say, hmm, there's a lot of black dots <laughs> 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 Because you played Chopin? Chopin no. Yeah. But because you play scales. Scale no. Reading the Bible. Journaling. Uh, it's the scales of a leader. If you don't play scales, scale you're going to come up to problems you cannot solve. More. And you're going to make mistakes. And you're going to have to repair and repair and repair. But a wise man disciplines himself. And reads the word daily. So that he can prepare, prepare, prepare. It's one of the commandments of a leader. Lead yourself back to the word. Now let me give you one more and then we're going to take a break. So the first is lead yourself. Second, Lead yourself to the Word. Because the Holy Spirit knows what you're about to face. You don't. So let Him lead you there. But here's one of number three. One of the dangers of being in church ministry is we get so distracted we forget who we are. One of the questions God's going to ask you when you get to heaven is this. He's not going to ask you how good the potlucks were at church. He's not going to ask if the chairs were soft enough. He's not going to say, did you like your youth group? Here's what he's going to ask you, leader. He's going to look at you. He's going to look around you. And he's going to say this. How many did you bring with you? 
何人ぐらいを一緒に連れてきましたか Is it just you? えあなただけですか you didn't bring anybody with you? 他に誰も連れてきていないですか Here's the third commandment. Learn to connect everything you do to a soul. You've got to connect it to a soul. We're in the midst of a harvest. And the harvest will not self reap. そしてその収穫は、えー、自分で自動的に刈り取られるのではありません。But it will self-destruct if not reaped. しかしながら誰かが刈り取らなければそれは腐ってしまいます。This is our only chance. 皆さん、今こそがチャンスであります。A chance to shine our light. もう私たちの怒りを照らすチャンスです。To bring people with us. もう一緒に人々を導くチャンスです。When you get to heaven, You're going to see a lot of things. Golden streets. Mansions. Angels. Let me tell you one thing you will never see. All eternity. Here's one thing you'll never see. You will never see another non Christian. ノンクリスチャンの姿を見ることはありませんですから今こそが私たちのチャンスでありますそしてそれを今私たちが使わないならば私たちはそのチャンスをエリアに失ってしまいます私たちはあなたを走るべき選手たちでありますしかしながら私たちのチャンスをエリアに失ってしまいます私たちのもし私たちがやっている活動は魂は急でですねと関係がないならばその活動を変えるみたいです。I have a friend that was doing a term paper in college. 私の友人は大学の時代ですね。And he turned it in. リポートを書いたんですけど。And when he received it back, それを提出して、The professor wrote this. で、教授はこのように書いたんです。Wonderful resources. えー、たくさんのリソースがありました。Great bibliography. えー、またきちんとそれを全部報告してくれました。また、えー、この例はもう素晴らしい。Maps. えーまあ、いろんな地図とか、えー、映像も素晴らしい。Great. えー、しかしながら<笑>成績は F、えー、失敗、ダメ。Why? どうして ?Wrong assignment. <笑>この、えーえー<笑>私たちに対しても神様は同じように言われるかもしれません。Nice sanctuary. 
いやー美しい街道ですねナイスコアイいや聖火隊は最高ねおいしいパッマックス<笑><笑>素晴らしかったグレーブは F <笑>ここが成績 F <笑>だから、まあ、間違ったことばっかり求めてたからです How many did you bring with you? 何人一緒に連れてきましたか We have to connect everything to a soul. 私たちは全ての活動をですね、きれいに結びつけなくなりません。You can do that. で、私たちにはそれができるんです。Even the way we speak to one another, connected to a soul. もう互いに話す、その会話をきれいに結びつけましょう。I had a guy setting up a speaker just like this one. えー、このようなスピーカーをですね、ある人が立てていた。And I went to him and I said, What are you doing? He said, I'm setting up a speaker. I said, Oh, no, you're not. I said, Oh, yes, I am. I do this every weekend. I said, Oh, no, you're not setting up a speaker. He said, Yes, I am. I said, No, you're not. I said, Pastor. What am I doing? <laughs> and I laughed like you did. And I said, What you're doing is you're making it possible for someone to come and maybe for the first time hear the gospel clear. <laughs> And because he'd taken the time to set the speakers correctly, no feedback, feedback and when they, when they hear the message, <laughs> their heart opens. And I give the invitation to Christ. そして私が次の招きをするときに、And when I give that invitation at the end of the service, 集会の最後にその招きをするときに、And that person raises his hand, その人はきっと福音に感動して人をあげます。I didn't lead him to Christ. 私がその人を導いたではないよ。We did together. 私たちは一緒にその人を導いた。Thank you. ありがとうございます。Mm-hmm. <laughs> you understand? I go to the nursery. And one of the nursery workers is changing a baby's diaper. I say, What are you doing? I'm changing a diaper. <laughs> I said, no, you're not. <laughs> oh, yes, I am. <laughs> I said, no, you're not. She said, yes, I am. <laughs> I said, no, you're not. She said, what am I doing? <laughs> I said, you're probably making it possible for the first time for a mother to trust you with her child. So she can come and hear the gospel for the very first time without being distracted. And when I give the invitation at the end of the service, Her heart opens. And when she raises her hand, I didn't lead her to the Lord. We did it together. Do you understand me? You have to connect everything we do to a soul. When you're taking the offering, tell the people how it's connecting to a soul. 
ていうその経験を修礼とどう関係しているのか説明しましょう。When you have a work day. もしあのこの掃除の日が定められる。It's not about paint. それはもうペンキのだけのことではない。It's about making this an environment where people want to come and hear the gospel. もう教会とをきれいにしてですね、人々が入りたい。そして福音に集中できるそのような環境を私たちは作っているのでもししないなら人々は気が散ってしまうのでペンキでペンキで使えたりおむつで使えたりもうスピーカーをセットすることで疲れてしまうスピーカーをセットすることで疲れてしまうなんだろうか彼らは地球でのために教会に,に役に立つ、ね、持ち上るために教会に来ているのでね。Leaders, そしてリーダーである皆さん、you have to connect everything we do to a soul. ですから、皆さんがやってるすべての活動を、救命に結びつけてください。Otherwise, what are we doing here? でなければ、私たちは何しに集まっているでしょうか How many are you bring home with you? 私たちは何人ぐらい一緒に連れて行くんですか I remember a story about an old rabbi. He was discouraged about his ministry. He was doubting God. And one night he was living in Russia. And one night he walked out into the winter night. Discouraged. And he was so discouraged that he mistakenly walked right into a Russian compound that was off limits to civilians. <laughs> Just then he heard the voice of a Russian soldier. And he was holding a rifle. And the soldier said, Who are you? What are you doing here? And the rabbi said, Excuse me? I said, Who are you and what are you doing here? And the rabbi said, How much do you earn everything? <laughs> 毎日どのぐらいの給料をもらってるんですかと聞きました。And the soldier says, What does that have to do with this? どうしたそれとこれはどういう関係があるのか The rabbi said, Because I will personally pay you the same amount if you will ask me those two questions every morning. Who are you? And what are you doing here? もうラビはですね、私はあなたに給料を払います。もし毎日私にあなたは誰なのか何しにこの地上にいるのかっていう質問をしてくれるならば払いますよと言ったんですね。And maybe, Tom, maybe God sent me here today to ask you those same questions. そして神様は私をここに使わせてくださったのは皆さんにその2つの同じ質問をするためではないでしょうか。Who are you? What are you doing? So, what are you doing? We get so caught up in Christian things that we miss Christ. So caught up in making business decisions that we miss biblical decisions. So busy leading others that we cannot lead ourselves. And when you finish the race, そのような私たちが走り、えー、この法廷を走り終わった時 grade will God give to you? 神様のような成績を与えてくれるでしょう。
read yourself. Read yourself to the word. そして2つ目は、見言葉で自分自身に、全ての活動を、全ての活動を、全ての活動を、全ての活動を、全ての活動を、全ての活動を、全ての活動を、全ての活動を、全ての活動を、全ての活動を、全ての活動を、全ての活動を、全ての活動を、全ての活動を、全ての活動を、全ての活動を、全ての活動を、全ての活動を、全ての活動を、全ての活動を、全ての活動私たちに語っておられることをありがとうございます。Reminding us who we are. 私たちは何者であるかをもう一度えこの気づきを与えてくださってありがとうございます。We're just like、Israel. 私たちはイスラエルと同じです。We forget who we are. すぐ自分は何者であるかを忘れがちです。So、help us to be a people who lead ourselves. ですから、自分をまっすぐ導く民となることができますよ。また、御言葉に自分を導くものとなることができます。そして私たちがするすべてのことは、もう、給礼に結びついている、そのような活動であるように、どうか私たちを導いてください。イエス様の皆によって祈ります。アーメン。アーメン